All right. Time for flame rates. <laughs> Spec. We need to do this right here. We don't crit that much right now, but if we get uh, the extra ones, we might have uh, an actual build in our hands. And also, I'm trying to do everything I can so that we don't suffer on uh, the next Lagoon fight. Because we know that uh, the, the answers, they're, they're gonna be gone. They're, they're not gonna live uh, more than three seconds. So, yeah, we need something uh, to be done. Four. Okay. Okay, what's the minimum level required to to equip Aberrant Call? Was it uh, 80 something, 82 or 86? Is it that high? sure if it's low is it low need to check out i really cannot remember right now Thirty-eight. All right. All right. Let's let, let's fucking do this. Four four rooms. Someone, remove that uh, flame wraith hater out of the chat. Take him somewhere else. Take him in the back room. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> One. Take him in the back room. I'll be there. All right, four chances, guys. Four chances. Red Wings, Jasper, Easy Game, Easy Life, Perseverance. Okay, only plus six, only plus six, 
But yeah, I think we're good. <clears throat> Alright, then we don't need those. <laughs> now the problem is that I am not gonna have enough mana to cast all of my wraiths now. Ah uh, do we just go with turrets and get drain life? Get the build fully online? Yeah, I think that's the play. Oh, but uh, Dread Saint with Turrets is just uh, shit. Need the mana battery. Screw it! Dispec all! Abom! We need uh, five points. Uh, that combo, it is a little bit uh, boring, yeah, but uh, all in all, as a minion uh, build with the turrets, it's very interactive because you never stop casting. Literally never stop casting. So, from that point of view, I think it's better than uh, other minion builds. Okay, to be fair, um, in Last Epoch, most minion builds... Uh, are kind of interactive. There are not a lot of boring uh, minion builds that you just, you know, walk in simulators. We don't have a lot of those, to, to be fair. <clears throat> Alright, we need... Oh my god. I need to respect half my tree here. Fuck you! Alright. Seriously. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. We need one of that. We need one of that there. We need one of that there. Five points on leads to unlock mana drain. Max that. <clears throat> uh, kind of want. Uh... Yeah, let's get our tanginess first, right? <clears throat> uh... Uh, this one is too important, we need to get it. And yeah, let's get maximum hit points here. Alright, I need uh, to check out my Drain Life build though. It's not a spell I'm using very often. Ah, uh, what is it? Uh, 
Yeah, we're gonna need a few points, of course. Yeah, we need uh, to go Dark Circles. Get all of those, and then we're going Contempt. Uh, assemble. This is the stationary? Yeah. yeah. Easy. And yeah, max out that one now. All right. <clears throat> All right, we need uh, a few more levels for uh, drain life to come online. So first couple of echoes are gonna be a little bit hectic here due to mana issues, but uh, yeah, we're gonna get it done. I'm telling you, if those chests don't get nerfed, we're gonna have a really, really fun uh, uh, leg start. Really, really fun. Okay. Yeah, we're going to ro roll uh, more later on for better uh, low rolls. Yeah. <clears throat> and oh, I need uh, to get ready for Dread Zaid. Uh, yeah, we need the uh, spectral distance. Um, yeah. We don't need that now. Uh huh. Yeah, we don't need the area for that. Uh, so we can uh, take spectral distance, and this is online. The last points are gonna go for uh, flesh harvest, and we're good. Yeah. If um, there are any questions about what I'm doing exactly, uh, feel free because just uh, thinking out loud a little bit, uh, it's, a, it's a build I've, I've played before. I'm seeing uh, green ones. Get out. <laughs> 
This is the epitome of balance, right? The epitome of balance. <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> Okay, I, I do agree that, especially for this particular build, uh, Aberrant Call, it, it, it is too strong, right? Definitely, level requirement needs to get higher, and I would not mind um, getting a higher level LP. Like, uh, 80, 80 LP level, as, as you say, yeah. I think that's completely uh, fine. <clears throat> Hey, okay, D don't compare this build with the zombie, come on. Alright, you're taking it too far, man. <laughs> you're taking it too far now, okay? We don't mention that build. That build... Don't, don't get me going. Don't, don't, don't do that to me. Alright, uh, do we have everything now? No. <laughs> All right. Again, it's a glass cannon. It's a glass cannon. That's important. At least to me. At least to me. But uh, yeah, there there is no there is no doubt in my mind that uh, a few things. Um, can actually uh, be better on uh, on this build. There is no way, right? Like you 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 can um, you can get some uh, things here. You can get some things nerfed, and the build will still be viable, right? Ah. <clears throat> uh... I don't know where do you get your defensive uh, layers on this build. I really don't. I really don't. Unless you do some uh, kind of low, low life. Um, I think, yeah. If you do low life, you definitely can do that. But... The only layer you have right now is armor. And... Uh, even even the the armor that you are getting, it's uh, based on uh, the, again the drain life uh, effect, which probably probably gonna get uh, removed. I don't think that uh, that uh, effect uh, from drain life is working as they would like. Titan hearts, yeah, Titan hearts is very good, yeah, yeah. Twisted Heart, I don't know, Binance, man. Uh, uh, the, the playstyle with Twisted Heart is so shit. I would honestly prefer playing Forge Guard. Instead of playing uh, this build with Twisted Heart. I've seen the build with Twisted Heart. And honestly, you don't even get that much uh, word out of it. And the playstyle, it, it, it's, it's atrocious. Honestly, it's atrocious. And you don't even get that much work. Like you still, you still need to abuse the uh, dread Sage buff effect on abomination, or some some way to to get uh, enough armor. And otherwise, the little work that you are getting out of twist card is not really worth it. It doesn't make any difference. I've seen the build how it works with twist card. <clears throat> I do believe though that. Uh, Probably the best version of this build is uh, low life. Like, uh, you do scale a little bit of intelligence and uh, you can get even uh, even better uh, ward retention. And uh, your chest and your boots are not a uh, core part of uh, what you need to make the build work, right? So, I think you can definitely go for a low life uh, setup. That's probably the best uh, way of making it uh, tangier. I'm not sure how much 
what you will be getting, but it should be a decent amount, honestly, because you do have a, a nice uh, life increase uh, point here. So yeah, you can, you can def definitely de 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 take that. I think the low life is probably the the more viable option uh, on this. I mean, we're not casting uh, skilled armages anyway. So the, the reason I'm um, so against the, the Twisted Heart, just uh, to make it clear, I've seen a very, very uh, min-max Twisted Heart version of the build, uh, and I can tell you that my Necro has four point, had 4.8k hit points, now it has 4.4 uh, with the vitality changes, and honestly, the amount of gear and uh, the amount of investment uh, that uh, that build had was less damage, incredible investment, and the Tagginess was like maybe 10% higher than mine. I don't think that's worth it, right? I don't think that's worth it. Relics, uh, two flame wraith uh, relics. Wait, uh, oh, you mean, oh, uh, I mean, just a regular old, uh, you know, minion damage, intelligence, life, nothing too exciting. The relics, not uh, that good. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, the thing is that. Uh, I mean, at some point, on bosses, right? I'm not talking uh, about um, having the enough damage that uh, kills every boss in like 3 seconds. We're talking about higher corruption, stuff like that. That eventually you will have uh, tanker bosses, no matter what you do. Uh, you want to put up uh, your uh, flame rates and your drain lives and stuff like that. And then you want uh, to start uh, dodging a few things from the boss, right? With the Twisted Heart, you cannot really do that because you need to keep casting, otherwise it doesn't matter. So I prefer getting into, let's say, 4.5k uh, uh, hit points, which is pretty viable, and uh, getting like uh, 8,000 uh, armor. Mm. But then... Uh, that's the thing, if you don't keep casting, the ward that you're getting is ca crappy. So, uh, I don't know, it's, it's a different uh, playstyle for sure. Again, I've seen I've seen uh, the build with Toothed Heart, I just didn't, I didn't think it was much better. And uh, you need much better gear to make it work. I think you can um, you can achieve the same goal, let's say, like uh, make a very strong build with uh, a, a simple gear process that you just get uh, vitality, minion crit, and uh, life and uh, percent armor everywhere. It's just much easier to gear up, right? And also easier to to min max as well. <clears throat> Yeah, the thing is that uh, once you get uh, Twisted Heart, your life pool doesn't really come into play on your uh, um, on your uh, on your defense anymore. That's a problem because you don't have leads. You only have a little bit of regeneration to make up the, for the fact that you're converting your life into ward. Right? You don't have leads like uh, Rune Master, like Sorks, whatever uh, builds using uh, Twisted Heart uh, for the most part. So your life becomes ward, but uh, then you don't have uh, the same ward attention that other builds uh, 
have unless again you invest a lot into it and and that's the problem right uh, in instead of having let's say 4.5k uh, hit points with uh, 60% endurance <clears throat> mm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I've played um, the live version enough to know that uh, if you start uh, min maxing it, you can uh, you can do pretty amazing stuff. And I've seen the twisted heart uh, min maxed, and I, I just wasn't depressed. You know, that's uh, the thing. I'm not saying it's not viable, but uh, I think that, uh, generally speaking, I would probably uh, prefer a live version instead of the Twisted Heart. That's uh, the thing. And I, I don't really think that uh, Twisted Heart uh, version is, uh, is stronger either. I think it's viable, but I don't know. All right, uh, I'll tell you what, if, if, if I leak start with this and they don't, uh, they don't uh, nerf it to the ground, um, we're going to, we're going to try the Twisted Heart. I, I'm going to, I'm going to let you farm uh, one LP uh, Twisted Heart for me, meet me in the ba uh, bazaar. I'm going to farm uh, 15 uh, million gold for you. Think that that's a fair price? All right. Well, you want 20 mil? Let's make it 20 mil. I mean, you, you honestly don't need LP on this build for Twisted Heart. Even if you go Twisted Heart, you don't need LP. Who gives a damn about the LP? What are you gonna get in LP that uh, it's gonna make a difference? You already maxing out the cast that you need from uh, your stuff and um, the gloves. <clears throat> yeah, you don't need it. You don't need it. You don't get anything with those plus levels. There is a reason that I'm uh, I'm trying this for for Lickstar, man. <laughs> it has a, a lot of upsides. <clears throat> Alright, need a couple more levels and I think we're done. The build is bad, delete it. <laughs> Alright. Fine. I think we're ready. Uh, we don't really need anything else, to be honest. Uh... Yeah, you don't need that. No. We don't have any more life here, unfortunately. <clears throat> oh, we need that. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Alright, give me your price for uh, one LP Twisted Heart, Venus. Give me your price. I mean, I cannot really say if they're gonna be cheap or not, 
because we kind of need to see what um, what um, uh, what the what value the gold is gonna have as well like that's uh, my, my my first reaction to that I don't know what uh, what value the gold is gonna have right like is it um, 1 million gold gonna be considered you know change or uh, it's gonna be considered pretty good I don't know <clears throat> Lightless Arbor is probably what's uh, gonna determine that. Yeah, yeah, but one mil is just, um, you know, just an example. Like, if, uh, let's say, one LP Twisted Heart, right, is, uh, let's say, five mil, do you consider that uh, cheap? Or uh, expensive, that's the thing. What's uh, 5 mil actually means in uh, the grand scheme of things? That's uh, what I, I want to see. Because I think that uh, Lightless Arbor, yeah, I do consider it cheap as well, but yeah. Uh, Lightless Arbor is uh, how many people farming that to spend the gold there. I think that's uh, what's uh, gonna determine the value of uh, the the gold, right? And I don't know what's gonna happen, but uh, let's say if uh, we if we have groups that um, abuse Lytle Sarbor the way it is right now, I I secretly hope that uh, this is gonna change. But if it's not, and one and one person pays for the run, and uh, everyone is getting loot. That can get abused um, really, really bad uh, for a, for economy. So yeah. we get it oh come on just a little bit do we have any exp nothing on range uh, sure <clears throat> by the way the true, the true way of uh, nerfing this build is actually nerfing uh, Drain Life, FYI. This build is not gonna be anywhere near as powerful if they change uh, the Drain Life uh, and the Contempt stacks. Because the true, the true power of the build um, is that uh, you don't need uh, anything on uh, your gear from uh, any resistances, anything else. That's why you can also do Twisted Heart. Otherwise, it's gonna be much harder, right? <clears throat> and you're gonna have to invest on uh, mana. Yeah, survivability. You're also gonna have to actually actively find a solution for mana. Like, right now, they cost 15, and uh, I don't have the turrets. This is going to go up, right? So, yeah. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. The number of rates is definitely high, yeah. <clears throat> so, here's the thing. If they destroy, like, heavily nerf, right? If they destroy the number of rates, then... 
the build is gonna be a good boss killer, it's gonna be crap for Echoes. Because the only clear that you're getting out of the build is due to the number of wraiths. Otherwise, you don't have any pierce, you don't have any chain, you don't have a, anything to do with clear, right? It's single target only. So if they, uh, they reduce uh, the number, they're gonna destroy the echo farming with this build. It's gonna be a good bosser then. The problem right now is that um, having a good bossing build is not uh, that needed or rewarding, right? Because we don't really have, you know, a lot of things to do. No, you don't have them. No, you don't have them. That's true. But... I don't know. Maybe... <clears throat> yeah, but uh, when you start doing... I, I don't know if you push this uh, build uh, like uh, over 4 hand corruption. Um, you, you do need to cast uh, quite a few. Like, uh, usually... Um, per area you are in, you usually cast uh, two sets of wraiths, right? Like uh, four wraiths, drain life, four wraiths, drain life, and then you move on. Move on. So it, it's a little bit of a difference when we're talking about higher uh, corruption. <clears throat> so the number of wraiths do come into play, but uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't uh, disagree, yeah. I don't disagree with that. The experimental affix, yeah. It's something that uh, I'm definitely gonna have uh, on mind. Oh, finally. Um, if if I go for a leak start uh, build like that, it's definitely something that I have in, in mind. <clears throat> I've been um, talking about uh, Convocation in the last ebook ever since I, I played uh, Minions for the first time. You do that, you do that. Okay, can we get some levels here? Oh, almost there, almost there. My album died. Okay, let's fix that. No, don't sacrifice that one. <laughs> oh, please don't tell me I got the bug again. Annoying piece of crap. All right. 
Okay. Okay. Maybe we got uh, a little bit uh, lucky here on this run. But honestly, so far, this has been uh, the easiest uh, build to set up from a, a league starting perspective, right? All right, we're in the clear. Uh, oh, mark for death, yeah, sure. All right. We still need a few more details to make the build uh, completely functionable, but yeah, we are in a very, very good spot. And our dread set just dropped.
Yeah, we lost that. That's fine. All right. This is gonna be a little bit better. Oh, my dread say dropped. Okay. That's why I have no damage. I was wondering, man. Shit. Okay. That was a little bit too close for comfort. Uh, I will take that one for the time being. I was expecting him to drop uh, on threshold uh, for uh, for the transplant, and he wasn't dropping. I was like, "What the hell is going on?" Yeah. <clears throat> That's the other thing with every necro build, uh, every necro minion build, is that without red set. Oh, you feel so bad. Like, it's incredibly stupid <laughs> how much damage this uh, buff gives. It's insane, actually. Right. Just need a few more levels in Drain Life right now to start getting the Contempt Stacks, and then uh, we're gonna be cruising, because right now... We don't have uh, a lot of resistances and stuff like that, so yeah.
Yeah, it dropped. Uh, also, what is my... Yeah, this is weapons. <clears throat> we don't need any weapons. Not anymore. Uh, do we get here? I think, right? I kind of want the, the armor. Nah, let's go more dams. Yeah, let's go more dams. <clears throat> I want uh, as much damage as possible right now because... Yeah, we got Lagoon to play against right now. Also, I need to grab my gloves from uh, the star stuff that I put. Uh, get uh, the extra car speed. Right now, it uh, it actually gonna matter. Okay, we don't need that. I do kind of like this one though. Okay. All right, we're pretty much online. Is it, uh, are we at the point that uh, the leak start uh, quest has sent it? <laughs> no, not really, not really, not very close. Again, we don't know what's going to happen on the patch notes and a lot of things I can change for sure. Okay, I messed up everything here, but it's gonna be fine. Okay, I don't think it's gonna be fine anymore. Holy.
Saved. All right. That's the difference of the build with and without Dreadshade. And that uh, doesn't change no matter what gear you get. Like, no matter what you do in the build without uh, having the Dreadshade up, your damage is like really bad. The only difference is that when, uh, when you have a lot of gear, you just uh, at least not gonna have that issue, right? But it's still gonna be noticeable, no matter what happens. Uh, yep, 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 I will take those. <clears throat> oh, they cast that outside. Mm, good job. Yeah, we need uh, to change on the the gloves. I need to get uh, my gloves. I forgot about it. Where is this? Uh, is that? Oh, I do have them here. Yeah, okay, I have them there, man. <coughs> All right, tier five, and let's add hybrid. Yeah. Here we go. Don't need those. Uh, it's kind of crappy. Nah. Care. Uh, drop all of those. We don't need seals anymore. We don't need off hands anymore. Once you get the aberrant, you, you don't need anything. <laughs> Alright, that's a good roll. Keep it. And... Mm. Okay, I don't think I dropped... Did I, did I drop another uh, despair? Maybe. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna wait for getting one so that I'm certain. Yeah. 
aqui. Ups. Hum. Decent. Crit? Oh, it's like my first trick was ring. Might still be able to use it though because the rings kinda suck. <laughs> So talking about the uh, differences of uh, this um, version with the turrets and you know just uh, playing all the uh, raids coming with you and um, using uh, the experimental affix to teleport them uh, into you as well, right? One of the main uh, differences uh, in that uh, particular version is the, the dread aid. The dread aid uh, uptime has to be 100% on you, right? Otherwise, you're losing uh, a huge part of uh, your armor and basically one of the main uh, defensive layers on you. <clears throat> this is why I kind of prefer this one, this version. But I do like the the, the teleporting uh, part of uh, the experimental affixes. I just wish we had a way, I don't know, cast dread aid on ourselves. I, I don't know, something, something. <clears throat> Especially if you go the route of uh, uh, stacking vitality to get uh, more uh, more armor out of your dread set, then it's even more pivotal to to have it hundred percent up time, right? So that's the thing about. Uh, that I cannot figure out. As much as I tried getting away from the uh, abomination, I, I just don't find a, a, a solution that uh, I'm pleased with. Because I tried getting away from the abomination uh, quite a few times. <laughs> I don't I don't really enjoy that uh, part, right, of the build. I think it's the only part that I don't really like. Yeah, and one of the reasons just like that, right? Whenever you have um, Spire uh, Echoes, which is gonna be quite a bit, they just uh, nuke your abomination and uh, you're losing your dread sage, you need to do it. It's, it's a thing, right? If you don't have to deal with the abomination, everything is just much better. And the build is gonna be, honestly, more enjoyable. <clears throat> Definitely not stronger, because, again, Dread Sight effect uh, from missing health is kind of broken. I don't have that right now, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna get it next, but yeah. Oh, wrong stuff with LP. But fine.
Come here, a couple more echoes, and we're going for uh, Mr. Lagoon. Hopefully, we have a little bit of a better time. Right. So, when I'm uh, playing my my regular flame rate necro, I don't have any issue with uh, drain life. I don't have any FPS problems. It kind of feels like that uh, they're causing me some issue here. I'm not sure if it's the FPS or some specific uh, enemies we get into our echoes, but yeah. What's going on with this run? One LP fragment. All right. All right. Hello? Okay.
<laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, let's get that one now. I think, uh, yeah, we go down first, yeah, yeah. Like, on uh, big packs right now, we have an issue because not of all our flame uh, rates, they're not all flame, right? We do have, like, 75% of uh, getting the correct ones, but it's still not uh, 100%, right? So, can I... All right. Ah, oh, there you go. Hello. Okay. All right. What um, choice do we take on uh, the live uh, conversation? By the way, is it at uh, the bottom? The bottom, right? I think I took the bottom last time, but uh, probably mistaken that. Bottom, right? To unlock uh, the big one. Yeah, eight five. All right. What the? Okay. <clears throat> All right, we have everything here. Uh, yeah, might as well take that. Duration on the contempt stacks, and now we take that one. Kinda want the 
flat. I uh, kind of want the flat first. Yeah. We don't have enough crit uh, to get a crit multi yet. But yeah, I think flat is a little bit better here. Feels good. Goodbye, you piece of crap. <laughs> Alright, didn't get the mana. The flood mana is actually pretty damn good for this build, by the way. 